Hello, um, I want to talk about solar cells. We're trying to make them better, which is to say we're trying to make them more efficient. We want to make them convert a better fraction of the sunlight into electrical power so that when they go on the roof with its limited area, they can actually make a bigger fraction of the electricity you're using in the house and, and therefore make a difference to the carbon problem. The problem with it is that the sunlight comes in a spectrum. It's a rainbow. It's red at one end and the photon energy is low in the red end. Blue at, at the other end, it's got a high photon energy. Uh, and this is what the cell looks like. This is the energy levels in it, inside the cell. And it works by your photon coming along and it say it's a green photon and it kicks an electron off from one of these levels to the other and the electron scoots off down the cell and goes around that circuit and powers your load, whatever it might be. Maybe it's a solar powered radio like this, this one. But the trouble is that you set that energy step, EG. And if it's there on the diagram, the red photons don't have enough energy to make that to power that jump and they all get wasted. So you lose all of the power in that, the red end of the spectrum. And the blue ones, on the other hand, well, they have too much photon energy and they create excess energy, which gets, gets lost. That thick bit gets lost as heat in the crystal. So the blue bit of the spectrum, you lose that bit. And what's left is only about 30% of the power in the rainbow. What we want to do is use really, really thin layers and then the quantum mechanics kicks in and it allows us to change this gap according to the layer thickness. And that allows us to do different band gaps in the different parts of the cell and we can make it all work and perfectly and take different bytes out of the spectrum and change that number from 30 to about 65%. We think that's a goal worth chasing.